To install HTTP Toolkit, we simply open a web browser and search for HTTP Toolkit. We go to the official website and right on the homepage we are offered the download button. I click download for Windows and the download begins automatically. This gives us an installer file. Once the download is complete, we open the installer and follow the usual installation steps, just like for any other program. After that, HTTP Toolkit is fully installed and ready to use. Now that we have installed HTTP Toolkit on our PC, there are two scenarios for connecting Android device, depending on whether the device is rooted and which Android version it is running. The first scenario applies to devices with root access or devices running Android version 10 or lower. Let's see this in practice. In this example, I am using Android emulator that has root access. I open HTTP Toolkit on my desktop, go to the Intercept tab and choose Android device via ADB. HTTP Toolkit detects the device and starts the setup automatically. The same automatic setup works if we connect a device using the QR code method instead of ADB. On the Android device, the HTTP Toolkit app is installed automatically and it immediately requests permissions to start local VPN. And with app allow. Because this device has root access, HTTP Toolkit can complete the remaining steps automatically. In the majority of cases, you will see what we see currently on the screen. The application connects and shows user trust enabled and system trust enabled. Sometimes on certain devices, after the VPN permission dialog, you can see another dialog asking for interception certificate to be installed. If that appears, just click OK and confirm your device pin code if prompted. Once this permission is approved, the connection is complete. Back on the desktop version of HTTP Toolkit, the Android device appears as connected and HTTP traffic will immediately start showing up. Let's verify that. I click Test Interception and we can see the requests appearing in the log. Everything is working. And that's what you need for the device which is rooted or device running Android version 10 or lower. Everything is actually handled automatically by HTTP Toolkit. Now let's consider the second scenario. Using non-rooted device or Android version 11 or higher. We start the same way. I click Android device via ADB and HTTP Toolkit and the companion application installs on the device and it is asking for a VPN permission. We allow that, but now we see something different. A dialog appears saying that manual setup is required. This happens because Android 11 and above doesn't allow an automatic installation of HTTP interception certificate on a non-rooted device. The dialog shows the exact steps we need to follow, so let's go through them. We tap Open Security Settings. In the Settings screen, scroll down and tap More Security and Privacy. Scroll again and select Encryption and Credentials. Then tap Install a Certificate, choose CA Certificate, and tap install anyway when the warning appears. We now see the certificate file that HTTP Toolkit created in Downloads folder. We select it and Android shows a message confirming that CA certificate has been installed. Now we go back to the HTTP Toolkit application. It updates the status and shows user trust enabled and system trust disabled. This is completely normal for a non-rooted device with Android 11 or higher because the system trust cannot be enabled without the root. But that is not a problem. For the majority of applications, user trust is enough and the interception will work correctly. We tap test interception and we can see the intercepted requests appearing on the desktop. So that's the second scenario of setting up HTTP Toolkit. Manual certificate installation is required on non-rooted Android device with Android 11 and higher version.